Welcome to another episode of uh, The Essence of Clarity. My name is Sabina Straver, I'm a professional organizer and today we are in the spare room. Now, I'm actually going through this room as a kind of a, um, I do a bit of a vlog how this process works. This is gonna take a couple of sessions to get this room to a super organized, decluttered and a nicely decorated space. But today I'm officially starting. So I'm really excited about that. I decided that this room is kind of overwhelming a little bit for me. Um, it has different zones and um, I just wanna tackle things one by one. So I've decided to start very small today. I've only taken two items, which I'm going to use in a very short organizing slash decluttering session and they are the label maker and i've got six um, container storage containers i normally buy those um, see-through containers for twenty dollars from the reject shops they work well they're stackable and they hide the material nicely in a cupboard sometimes you don't want to have see-through containers um, because you might have the items on display. In this case, I'm actually planning them, I'm putting them somewhere in a cupboard. And it's good to have see-through that I know what's in there. And normally I don't use a label maker, but in this case, I'm going to use it just to make it super easy. Okay, so my goal is really to spend maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes on um, the cupboard in this room and to fill my six boxes with very clear categories of stuff and then taking that out of that cupboard so I can really utilize that bookshelf as a bookshelf. Okay, I'm excited to start. It's actually Friday evening. I just want to do one little bit of decluttering before I'm going to enjoy the weekends. Um, so exciting small project and I'm gonna get started now. Please join me. Okay, so this is the end of my first session. A few things I wanted to point out. As is uh, kind of a regular occurrence, I realized I need many more containers than I thought. So originally what I thought was I probably need um, three packets of six containers. Turns out I probably need four or five, which is fine because it now means I'm informed when I go to the shop, they probably think, what is this lady doing? Um, the other thing that I've tried out, the, the stuff that I'm doing that I'm working with actually lends itself really well to the containers I had so it's really good that I tested it. They also fit beautifully in a cupboard that I want to store them in um, and they are basically organized now. So one of the things that you can I guess it can be a debate what is organized so in the video um, you actually don't see me make big headway. What you do see is me putting a lot of photos in containers and I actually had four containers full of photos. Are they organized? Well, yes, because I know where all the photos are, so they're organized. Are they organized that I know exactly the date, the time, um, when it was? No, they're not. But to what extent do you want to be organized? Um, my actual photos of my whole life are organized. These are not my photos. They might be my partners. Um, so I um, I consider the photos now organized. If um, he one day, a rainy afternoon, decides to go through it and wants to spend a lot of time um, on them, he can, but at least we have contained um, the items, we know exactly what they are and where they are. Um, so that's sufficient at this time. Um, I am going to, in my next stage, get more containers um, and continue this process. Another thing that I wanted to point out was that you actually saw the footage, um, you know, that area was quite messy and you saw me not attack the first area, um, like in front. So you, you saw the mess still in front. Now, 
there's different philosophies on it. So one of the things that um, I always try to do is um, have a quick win. And for me, it was containers, a very simple category and just get it done. Now, those items that were in front of the camera, of the footage, were actually things I, I wasn't sure what to do with. So I left them. So I'm trying to be very systematic on what I can do and what I feel comfortable to do and what I feel a little bit overwhelmed with. And I hope um, that this is a really good tip for you when you're trying this stuff out for yourself as well. So I will continue making videos on how to um, organize this room and I'll show you the progress which I'm really excited about. I'll see you soon and good luck organizing and decluttering your space. Bye!